Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see here on our channel, our website, or our social media. Reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a 2019 special series from a model line originally launched in 2018. Born as the Navitimer 8, this is the Breitling Aviator 8 Chronograph B01 de Havilland Mosquito Special Series. It's dedicated to both the aviation heritage of Breitling and the legacy of the wooden de Havilland Mosquito night fighter, bomber, and reconnaissance aircraft. Now, taking a look at the watch, you can see 43 millimeters in diameter, it's substantial in profile, 14.1 millimeters thick, so maybe even a little bit thinner than you expect for a watch of this size. 50.3 millimeters lug to lug with a 23 millimeter spacing between the lugs, so the watch has a nice broad stance on the wrist. Though it does incorporate some heritage design elements, it's not a retro watch or a tribute watch or a re-edition of any kind. Though it does evoke 1950s aviation with the Mosquito 1940s aviation, nevertheless, it is a modern tri-register chronograph. As you can see on the wrist, it's broad but not excessively so, and I could recommend it for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters in circumference. It is low enough to fit underneath most jacket and shirt sleeves. The strap that's included is in the tradition of Breitling straps, more substantial than expected at the price. As you can see, calfskin, brown, medium brown, I should say, sheer sided, showing the thick layers of leather. There is bolstering to add some volume. You can see a contrasting stitch, and you'll appreciate the fact that on the underside, there is a signal yellow to demonstrate, well, that Breitling has created a fascinating and distinctive strap that's richer than you expect at the price, and of course, on the underside, bright and lively. There's a lot of color on this watch, most of it in reference to the wartime colors of the de Havilland Mosquito, and that's why you're seeing this extravagant yellow where essentially no one but the owner will ever see it. There is a full deployment clasp, so you can see a combination of polish and satin. Press the triggers together, open up the clasp. It is a trigger actuated deployment. As a result, you don't have to worry about your deployment accidentally deploying during periods of activity. Active lifestylers will love the fact that this watch is of course 100 meters water resistant. Unlike the Navitimers, which tend to be 30 meters water resistant, this watch is swimmable. And I should mention that this was originally the Navitimer 8. No one really bought this watch as a Navitimer because of the lack of the calculator bezel. So Aviator, which was the pre-production original intent name for this model line, was applied after the fact. And frankly, as the Aviator 8, the watch makes a lot more sense. It can come into its own and be its own thing. It doesn't have to pretend to be a Navitimer. So this is a watch that gives you a rotating bezel of a different type. As you can see, pump style pushers and a sharply knurled crown that's used both on the Premiers and the Aviators. The bezel is nickel anthracite, or I should say, it is ADLC. So it is a diamond-like carbon and it's black, bi-directional, and can be used for timing. Now this bezel, when originally launched in 2018, did not feature calibrations. It had the triangular index. And so a lot of folks questioned the utility of a bezel without markings. Well, that has been remedied. And in particular, this white on black combination is easy to read. The dial, of course, like the rest of the watch, features color schemes associated with the Mosquito. You can see the register for the minutes and note instantaneous jumping minutes, one of the features of the B01 caliber. Outboard, there's a little bit of Fotina. So if you like that vintage look, this watch has a little bit of that, but it doesn't beat you over the head with it. As you can see, the hands themselves are conventional Luminova, and we will have a Lum shot in a moment. Breitling B counterweight to the seconds hand and an applique B logo on the dial. Turn the watch over. And as you can see, it is a timepiece featuring the caliber B01 movement, which though not originally intended to be seen when launched in 2009, is a really good looking automatic. COSC chronometer, five position adjusted, 47 joules. You have the column wheel and the vertical clutch. The column wheel, which is what you see cycling the functions, makes the actuation crisp and fun. You hear it, you feel it, it's the sign of a traditional and finely made chronograph. It's not a cam and shuttle system and many will be grateful for that. So pusher feel is outstanding and thanks to the vertical clutch, you can see there's no jump or stagger to the seconds hand when you start it. Because of the vertical clutch, you can also leave it running on a continuous basis with no additional wear and tear for the mechanism. Now there is a hacking, we'll screw the crown out. There is a hacking or stop seconds function 
And then there is also a quick set for the movement, so you can rapidly cycle the date should the watch run down or encounter an irregular length month. Moreover, there is a COSC chronometer certification and a 70 hour power reserve, so for all intents and purposes, a three day power reserve. There's a lot to love about the Mosquito Edition, an already appealing watch becomes more so thanks to judicious use of contrasting colors, and it doesn't beat you over the head with the historical references, nor is it a re-edition or a retro watch, which I like. Aviator 8 might be on its way to becoming a modern Breitling classic. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. And we are back with the Aviator 8 de Havilland Mosquito Edition by Night. 